Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll learn a few different ways to create animated screen transitions using ProtoPie's jump response. Let's jump right in. In our pie, we have two scenes, a home scene and a product detail screen. We'd like to create a transition between these two scenes when the product two group is tapped. Let's start by adding a tap trigger to this group. Next, let's add a jump response. The jump response is used whenever we want to transition to a different scene. Select the scene you want to jump to. In this case, it's the detail scene. Choose a transition. Most of these transitions are pre-built animations, such as fade, slide in, pop, and so on. Let's try the slide in transition. This one has an additional option to configure the direction. We'll leave it on the default option right to left. Let's preview that. Easy. Now to make this a little better, we'll use the smart transition feature. It works by automatically animating layers with the same name between scenes. If we preview this, all we're getting is a crossfade. No different than if we had chosen the fade transition. Even though we have layers with the same name in each scene, ProtoPie is not automatically animating them because they are grouped in the home scene but not in the detail scene. Let's ungroup the product two group in the home scene. Select, right click, and choose ungroup selection. Uh-oh, that broke our tap trigger. Let's change the object associated with the tap to the product image group that was previously in the product two group. Let's preview again. That looks better, but isn't it too fast? Quick pro tip. A benefit of using the smart transition is that you can set an animation duration for the transition. Let's slow this down to say 0.5 seconds. Preview again. Perfect. Smart transition is a real time saver, but notice how all of the elements animate at the same time? What if you wanted to sequence elements of your transition? In ProtoPie, you can do that too by animating all of the elements manually and delaying the jump response to just the right moment. We cover timeline animation in detail in another lesson, so we'll skip the fine details in the following steps. We don't want to lose the work we've already done, so let's duplicate our two scenes, and we'll create our custom transition in these new scenes. Hold down Shift and click both scenes. Right-click and choose Duplicate. Go to the scene named Home 2. For now, let's turn off the jump response under our tap trigger. The first step in the transition is to hide all the other elements in the scene. We can make this easy by first grouping all of these elements. Select all of the elements in the layers list except the product image group. Right click and choose group selection. Now we can change the opacity of container one in one go. Next, let's move the product image group to the same vertical position as the detail two scene and to the center of the screen. Add a move response to the product image group and move the X value to 105 and the Y value to 108. Select the duration and easing to whatever you like. Now, let's expand the product image to match what it looks like in the Details 2 scene. We need a move response to move the product image's X value to 16. Add a scale response to the product image group and scale it to 343 by 480 to match its size in the details scene. Let's preview this. Something's not quite right. We need to also animate the layer named image inside the product image group so that it matches its size and position in the detail scene. Add a move response to the image layer. Move the X and Y value to zero. Then add a scale response to the same layer and scale it to 343 by 480. Another quick pro tip. 
You can modify the properties of multiple responses by first holding Shift, then clicking them both. Now we're ready to jump to the next scene. Turn the jump response back on, and let's make some changes to it. Choose the Detail 2 scene. Set the transition to Instant, and delay the jump so that it doesn't happen until our animation is complete. Let's preview this. Looking good, but we can do better. We have elements animating before our transition. Let's add animation after the transition as well. Head over to the Detail 2 scene. Let's set this up so that the product details fade in when the scene starts. First, let's hide all of the scene details. Another pro tip. Holding Shift allows you to choose all of the layers. Then hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows and click the Product Image group to deselect it. Then, let's set up our animations. Animate the header group. Animate the product tile layer. Do the same for the color, product price, and bottom layers. This should be everything we need to do to complete our fully customized transition. Return to the Home 2 scene and preview. Voila! Creating screen transitions. Easy as pie. See you in the next one.